Hello, welcome down to Christmas. Okay, so here's a YouTube tutorials. Today it's a statistics one and we're doing a chi squared goodness of fit test for normality. And uh, I've taken it from this site up here. So we have 50 houses in a small Midwestern town and there's the income of each house. And the mean is 63.8 and the standard deviation is 45.78. So H0 is, the data is normally distributed with mean 63.8 thousand, standard deviation 45.78. <sighs> Sorry for the phone ringing in the background. And the alternative is um, a normal distribution would mean 63, it's not 63.8 and a standard deviation of 45.78. Okay, so H0 is normally distributed, HA it's not normally distributed. Okay, now a, the examples I would do for you is if I just go out to here, I would give it to you in this case, I would give it to you that the income is less than 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, and I would give the frequency here. Why? Because it just takes too long picking the numbers out, and I've just put in a little formula here just to check that um, you know the totals do end up to uh, 50. Now I have some calcs out here which I'll explain in a second there just to sort of make sure everything was okay. So let's go back to here. The income is less than 20. So the probability of being x less than 20 is x minus mu over sigma. So what's x? 20. What's mu? the mean, the sample mean, and s I suppose technically that should be s rather than sigma, but anyway, standard deviation 45.78. So 20 minus 63 divided by 45.78, when you do the maths, is minus 0.96. You look up the normal distribution tables, left-tailed, minus 0.96 is, where am I, 16.85, just there. So, the probability is 0 0.1685. How many houses were uh, sampled? 50. So, equal D7 by 50. Okay, 8.425. And I've got 8.425. I'm not doing this column yet. I'll do this column first. Next one is we want between... 20 and 40. So, probability, we say the probability of up to 40, it is 40 minus 63 over 45.78 and sorry, 20 to 40, sorry. So the probability, uh, it's the probability of up to 40 minus the probability of up to 20. So, when you say the 40, so it's 40 minus 63.8 divided by 45.78, that gives me a Z score. When you do 40 minus 63 over 45, you get minus 0.52. Minus 0.52 is there, 30, 50. So the probability of the 40 is 30, 50. The probability of up to the 20 is 16.85. So the probability of between 20 and 40 is 0 0.3015. What's 0 0.3015? The probability of up to 40. What's 0 0.1685? That's the probability of up to 20. The probability of between 20 and 40 is 3015 minus 1685. You do that, you get 0 0.133. Um, what's the expected frequency going to be then? It's 0 0.133 by uh, 50, which is 6.65. Next thing is to get between 40 and 60. Go back to the solutions here. So it's the probability of up to 60. You get, when you say, when you do the 60, it's 60 minus 63 over 45.78. And when you do that, 60 minus 63 over 45.78, you get minus 0.08. You go out to the normal distribution tables, minus 0.08 is 4861. 
so go out to here 4860 sorry 4681 sorry 4681 is the probability of up to including 60 3015 is the probability of up to including 40 subtract the two of them and you get the probability of between 40 and 60 that's 0.166 So we do that and we get 8.3 is the expected frequency. Okay. We well, alright, I hope that's okay. Now between 60 and 80 we want the probability of x be between 60 and 80. Do the 80 first. 80 minus 63 is 45.78 over 45.78 and we get an answer of plus 0.35 when we came with this so 80 minus 63 divided by 45.78 gives us plus 0.35 go out to the positive ones point plus 0.35 is there 63 68 I have a pre-done here because I was making mistakes so 63 68 is the probability of up to and including 80 uh, 4681 is the probability of up to and including 60. Subtract the two of them and you get the probability of between 60 and 80. So that's 1687. Or 16.87%. We get 8.435. And the last one, the probability of the income being more than 80. Well, just to go back to here. The probability of up to including, oh sorry, up to 80 uh, is 63.68. The probability of being 80 or more is 1 minus 63.68. Why? Because total probability is 1. Up to uh, 80 is 63.68. So 80 or over is 1 minus 63.68. So equal 1 minus 0.6368 so there ah uh, sorry sorry I mean num lock was 1 minus 0.6368 I think that's right just a little check there yeah 63 so that's 3632 okay and uh, we multiply that by 50 to get 18.16. I'm just going to go back and check this. 18.16. Grant. Now, your man here does a little total here. I suppose there's no harm. So we do an equal sum. And I don't quite get one, but I get point. Three nines four, so ninety nine point. There's a bit of rounding going on somewhere, or I've typed in it, but it's very nearly one. Okay, so I suspect here that should be point one three 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 three, and I only have a two three decimal places. But look, it's fair enough. So it's as good as one. We've done the expected frequency, and then we do the chi squared value. Now the chi squared value is the observed six minus the expected. 8.43 all to be squared so the observed minus the expected all to be the squared divided by the expected so it's that number minus that number squared divided by the expected 8.43 so equal the observed uh, c7 minus the expected e7 to be squared divided by the expected which is E7 do I get point six nine eight there yeah point seven oh that's okay so and you do the same for each cell now I'm just going to drag down just to save a bit of time and I get a total here Okay, so 8.1604, 8 I just want to check that. 8. Oh, little out. 
Now your man is only going to two decimal places. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to go with this. I'm, I'm happy enough. Okay, a little worrying, but I think we're okay. So, we've done all of that. And the next thing we look at is uh, the goodness of fish tables. So, now, he just, I suppose for our purposes, the degrees of freedom is k minus 3. Now, there is another way of explaining it, but I think let's just leave it at that as k minus 3. So, the number of classes is 5, and the degrees of freedom, therefore, is the number of classes minus 3. Okay, he's just jumped a little bit, but 5 minus 3 is 2, and we get... Let's just go on and see, does that work? Okay, can't get that. So I'm just going to, I don't have that. That, so I just give me one sec here now, I'll find one very quickly. So, that might be a little blocky. There's the choice squared table. So we have two degrees of freedom. So we're working somewhere along here. We all right this? Two degrees of freedom. We're working somewhere along this line. Let's go back to... question and the question says if we can find it uh, I can't actually find it I which one does he use no he doesn't actually say, oh, sorry, a significance level of 5%. I think in my exam questions, I always use 5%. So the significance level is 5%. So we go back to here. So 2. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So we get 5.991. Hopefully that's visible and not too blurry on the screen. So 5%. 0.05 is 5%, 2 degrees of freedom, 5.991. 5 so I'm just going to say a critical value, 5.991. Our t conclusion, our total chi squared value is 8.1604 which is larger than the critical value of 5.991 therefore we have reason to reject HO And same thing here. Since chi squared 8.12 is bigger than 5.991, we reject HO at the significance level. So what we're saying is the income distribution is not normally distributed. For our my students, for our GSOR students, why do you do this test? Because when you do the you, you're out in the field, you're surveying numbers, or you're, whatever it is, you're getting distances, coordinates, bearings, angles. Uh, you always look at the residuals. If the residuals are normally distributed, you're not saying the test was carried out correctly, 
but more importantly, if the residuals are not normally distributed, something has gone wrong with the measuring process. You know, there's been a systematic error, there's operator error, there's been misreading, something has gone wrong. So if they're normally distributed, well, at le it's looking reasonably likely that the experiment was carried out correctly. Okay, so hope that helps a little. Thanks for listening.